Hello everyone, this is Teacher K and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this channel, we talk about tips and tricks on how to bring warmth, fun and light in every season of your life. So why don't you join us in this growing community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it. Are you looking for a get-to-know-you fun and easy icebreakers that can work anytime and anywhere? If you're tasked to come up with activities that will build up your team and you want it to be fun and easy at the same time, then you're at the right place. Well, I personally believe that it doesn't have to be hard. By that, I mean there's no need to prepare materials. All you have to do is be creative enough to come up with spot-on questions or if you can't, then just have a strong internet connection so that you can Google questions anytime, anywhere. Or better yet, why don't you just go to my Etsy shop, download my template with all the questions that you need for the games that I will be talking about today in this video. In that way, you can pull out my template anytime anywhere, whenever you need it. Just a heads up, this video will be divided into two major parts. First part will be the seven icebreaker games that I will be talking about. Promise, they are all easy. Plus, I have some actual clips on how I did it with my own set of friends, which I think you might find helpful. Second part of this video will be the trip with friends highlights. Here you will see the entire video of the icebreaker games that I have featured with them, plus some bloopers. In that way, I think you will get more idea and gist on how this game really works. And maybe you can have your own version of it. Plus, it includes other highlights for a trip just in case you want to explore Cebu or maybe you're simply interested to get to know me better. Aww. All right, so here are the seven easy and fun icebreaker games that you can play anytime, anywhere, whenever you need it. Number one is never have I ever. Ask your friends to raise up 10 fingers in the air. Ask them never have I ever questions. And if they did the thing that you mentioned, then they are to put down one finger. To make it easier, that person should say, I did, and put one finger down. But if the participant did not do it, as the title goes, never have I ever, then he should not put down any finger at all. At the end of the game, the person with the most number of fingers held up in the air is the winner. This is a fun game because you will get to know each other more by basing it from the things they did and the things they did not. By the way, you can also put in some silly questions or theme-based or occasion-based questions. Say for example, this month is February and since this is the month of love, then my never have I ever questions is related to love life. If you're curious how that one goes, then watch this video. Never have I ever! Yeah. 10 fingers. First question, never have I ever written a love letter to someone. <laughs> Why would I? I have. I have. Why would wow, I? Son. <laughs> Come uh, in, uh, on, <laughs> okay, next. Oh, no, no. Never have I ever fallen asleep at work. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Work I or sleeping? Do. <laughs> I yes. do. I did. I of did. course. <laughs> Number two is Jojoa in Ototropahin. Also known as boyfriend girlfriend material or just simply friend material. Well, this is a popular Filipino game usually played in vlogs, but I do think that you can also play it with your friends. Basically, as a game master, all you have to do is think or come up with a list of boys or girls depending on your gender preferences usually the safest thing to do is come up with a list of celebrities or influencers or if you really know each other well then you can list certain people in your circle of friends or maybe you can have it mixed basically what the game master does is he or she mentions a name to everyone 
and they are to choose whether that person is jojoain boyfriend girlfriend material or totopahin which means just for friends also you can ask them to give a very short explanation why they chose that way it will be fun not only that it's an icebreaker but at the same time you will get to know each other more you will know their preferences or principles when it comes to dating or friendship if you're curious on how that one goes watch this video clip Jojo in or Yes, so let's start with the first one, Hollywood. This is actor. Okay, Jojo Wain or Totropahin? Brad Pitt. Totropahin. Why? Brad Pitt, kisa na. The comedian. Because he's just so famous. I'll just make the comedian. Mm hmm. Yeah, Totropahin. Totropahin. Jojo Wain. Why? Jojo Wain and Toto Pahin, Harry Styles. I don't know that person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who's that person? Oh my god. Ah, uh, Tropa. <laughs> don't know so. Tropa. <laughs> Number three is something new. Ask each person to share one thing they knew about a particular person during the previous session or day. By the way, ask that person to make it as a blind item and have everyone in the group guess who that person you're talking about is. Number four is would you rather. This is the typical would you rather questions where you will present a question with two options. What the participants will usually do is they will raise one finger if they are choosing option one, two fingers if they're choosing option two. Or you can give it a twist depending on where you are located. Say, for example, if you're in an outdoor meeting with your friends, then you can ask them to stand up if they are choosing option one or remain seated if they choose option two. In that way, not only will you get to know them better, but at the same time, you will definitely wake them up. Some examples are, would you rather be late or absent? Late or absent? Would you rather have coffee or tea? Coffee, tea. Would you rather have cake or pizza? Number five is who's most likely to? The game master will give questions that starts with the phrase who's most likely to? Each one of the participants will either point or mention the name of the person they're referring to. And some people will be asked or they will willingly explain why they point at that person. This is really a hilarious game and this is one of my favorites in this set of icebreakers. Actually, we played this with my group of friends and we all had fun. Watch this video. Who's most likely to? to? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, first, who's most likely to? Watch romantic movies. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Next, who's most likely to not to take a shower for a week? <laughs> Number six is because game. The thing is, it's like the end of sentence game, except that you will have to answer with a starting word, because. This game is meant to be hilarious. If you are a Filipino, you would know that the Filipino context of this word, because, is from this meme. <laughs> but if you're not a Filipino, it's fine. Just think that this is a very hilarious game and you can provide silly questions such as you're single because and let the other person answer. Because I'm like this, I'm like that. Another example is he left you because or you blocked him because or you friend zoned him because you love him because things like that. 
Number seven is Miss Universe Questions Fun and Funny Edition. Questions here should be out-of-the-box questions, and these questions will definitely test the wit and the humor of your participants. So how this works is that whenever you ask one participant a particular out-of-the-box question, he or she should start his answer with a phrase, Thank you for that wonderful question. I believe you know what I'm saying. In other words, let that person act or speak like a beauty queen. So here are my sample questions. If you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be and why? Again, the participant should start. Thank you for that wonderful question. I believe. Another question is, if you woke up tomorrow as an animal, what animal would you choose to be and why? All right, the icebreaker questions mentioned in this video are available in my Etsy shop. All you have to do is check the link in the description box down below and download the PDF file that contains all of the questions that you need for these icebreakers. Let me know in the comment section which icebreaker is your favorite and which ones you would like to try. Now, on to the next part. Let me show you our chips highlight. Hey guys, I told you in the introduction that this video is supposed to be divided into two major parts. However, as I am editing, I realized that that would take around 40 minutes of duration for this video and will definitely hurt my watch time. So I decided to make it part one and part two instead. So after you see this video, the part one, watch out for the second part. That will be released maybe two or three days after. See you! Well, if you're still here, wow! Thank you so much for watching this far. That's about it. If you like this video, help me beat the YouTube algorithm by hitting the like button or leaving a comment down below. In that way, you're helping me reach more audience and you are also helping those people who need to see this video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye! Okay, gamay man ka. Tira 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 ka